I hope you're good. I've had a good day. I've done some exercise. I went shopping, but I didn't find anything that I needed. Monty's showing you his bum bum. And then I just had a chill out afternoon with one of my friends. And what I'm gonna do now is get on with some wrapping up. So if you think that I've bought you a present, no peeking. With just over a week left till Christmas, there's not much time left to put in online orders for presents. So I'm gonna talk to you about how to get parcel deliveries when you're living on a narrowboat. If you're like me and you're living on a residential mooring, then in theory things should be really easy. It's definitely the easiest way to receive a parcel if you're living on a boat because you will have a proper postal address registered with Royal Mail but there could be a few issues depending on where the post is actually physically delivered. For example, where I live, all of our post is delivered to a local business and we go and pick it up from them. If you're on a marina, then usually your post will go to the main office there. And that's great because you will never miss a parcel and have to go to the sorting office again. However, lots of businesses will only be open during business hours which is when most people are working and also they may have different opening times around Christmas so that's why it's particularly important that you get all of your orders in early. Also if you're gonna be ordering something via a courier rather than Royal Mail then it's really important that you make it clear on the address label where exactly they need to deliver the parcel to because that might not be immediately obvious from the postal address. If people are going to be sending packages f to your boat then let them know about any restrictions on you receiving parcels especially because people will be sending perishables at this time of year, flowers and food and things like that and you wouldn't want it to arrive after the office is closed for Christmas and for example where I get my post delivered to they will only accept things in my name so if you're going to send something to a boat then double check what name to use in case somebody uses more than one name or if like me you sometimes send things in the post to a nickname also if you need to return anything and a courier needs to come pick it up make sure that your marina office is happy to do that for you. If you keep your boat on a leisure mooring and you're going to be staying there over Christmas then usually they are happy to collect post for you in the same way as with residential moorers. If you're a continuous cruiser then obviously you don't have a permanent address. Things could be a little bit more challenging. Don't worry, Father Christmas will know how to find you but you might need to make it a little bit easier for humans that would like to send you something. Some people that continuously cruise will use a friend or family member's address. Some people will use a work address, but not everybody will be able to do this. Lots of online retailers now will deliver to stores or to designated lockers and pickup points. A lot of local news agents do that. And if you're ordering via raw mail, then you can get it delivered to your local post office. And there are a few designated companies now that just deal in receiving deliveries for people. Kind of like a cheaper way of doing a PO box. The only thing to note about those companies is that some of them will only do it for parcels and they won't do it for letters. I have heard about someone in London that is basically a boat postman and you register with him, let him know where your boat is gonna be. People can send letters to his address and then he will deliver them to your boat. I can't find any details about him online, so I'm not sure if he's still offering this service. If you know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below so I can leave his details in the description. So main things to remember, if you don't want to actually go to the shops and you are going to order your Christmas presents, then do it really early. Maybe think about sending gifts directly to the recipient. You can get lots of things gift wrapped and get little nice cards in there as well. And the most obvious one, of course, 
where possible, delay seeing people until after Christmas. That way you can buy all of their presents in the Boxing Day sales, save yourself a load of money, and there's no time pressure. Let me know in the comments below if you've finished all of your shopping, whether you did it in the shops or whether you ordered online. And don't forget, it's all just a capitalist scam, so you don't need to buy into it. Thanks for watching. I am going to be doing daily videos up until Christmas Eve, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join me again tomorrow where I am hopefully going to win at the quiz night. Bye for now.